Hey everybody, Matt from Mule here. I have a challenging thought for you today, and that's that this is an acoustic guitar pickup. And before you go find your torches, I'm going to play all three of these guitars. Uh, they all have the same exact neck pickup in them, and I've got a SM57B that I'm going to put in front of the fender, and we're going to compare them, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so we've got three different guitars with the exact same neck pickup in it. Played through the same amp with a dynamic microphone in front of it so it doesn't pick up any of the acoustic sound coming off of the instrument. And they all sound very different. Why? Well, that's because this electric guitar pickup is an acoustic guitar pickup. It's picking up the acoustic vibrations of each instrument and giving it its characteristic sound. Why does it work? What's the science behind it? I have no idea. And I don't really care. <laughs> that was a good lesson I learned from John Reuter, one of my former teachers at Roberto Venn. Um, there's a good lesson in, in there is that a lot of times we can get tied up in the science of things and the gear part of it. And um, we lose track of what we're trying to do and what our goal is. And we can end up being sort of led off track. So the reason we're, I'm making this video is I've been getting a lot of questions on, hey, I'm getting my mule. Can you put such and such acoustic guitar pickup in it? I have my favorite acoustic guitar pickup. Can I put that in there? Um, and my answer to them is you can, but you don't have to. This pickup is going to get you everything that you need. Um, the part of the reason, well, the reason that I mounted the mini humbucker in this way is that there's a cutout here and that pick and it's set inside the body. So this pickup is picking up not just the strings, but it's picking up the cone and the sound inside of the cavity here. Each of these guitars is built exactly the same way. This, this um, pickup is getting a great picture of every element of the guitar and that's super important with resonator guitars is that you hear every part of that instrument that's vibrating um, just like your ear would in a room when you're listening to one of these instruments you hear the strings you hear the cones you hear the body vibrating in a room and you need to hear all of those parts a contact pickup like a lot of acoustic guitar pickups are here only one part of that instrument. Imagine you cranked up the speakers on your computer and then you put your ear onto the desk of the computer and that's how you were listening to the speakers. That's exactly how contact pickups work. Um, and with resonator guitars especially, you need to hear the whole picture in order for it to sound good. Um, and this is the simplest way of doing that and that's why we mount them on there if you want the best acoustic representation of the guitar use a microphone put it out in front use some sort of clip-on microphone totally about that um, but long story short this is the only pickup that you need in the mule it's going to get you um, a great representation of the guitar when you plug it in it's going to give you lots of headroom guys have played it in huge 
much much larger rooms than any, any of us will ever play with no feedback issues um, and uh, yeah that's that so fire away in the comments below about all the ways you disagree with me on that but I know that it works I know what it sounds like it's worked for a lot of people it's just an encouragement not to overthink it um, just uh, let the instrument be what it is take it where uh, you're gonna go with it and have lots of fun